Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. Today's video is going to be my weekly plan with me. We are planning for the week of the 16th to the 22nd. The planner that I use is the classic Happy Planner vertical hourly layout. I have a full planner set up on my Franken planner. So I have that pulled out of the rings because it's easier to plan with it not, excuse me, not rings, discs. It's easier to not plan with the discs. I also have some of these project goal sheets that I'm going to be adding in as well. And then of course I have my half sheets. These are good for all the mini lists that I have going on. But one thing I realized is missing from my weekly planning is just a running to-do list. As you can see with this layout here, there's priorities for each day. In some instances, I'll flip back to last week. In some instances, if I don't have anything going on, I'll just use a full box sticker. But usually I put in my top three for the day and I kind of have a system of how I set this up in general. But having a running to-do list is one thing I'm definitely going to be implementing. And then also with these project goal sheets, I have my writing project, my book that I'm working on, and I am not meeting my benchmark that I want. So this is a boot camp kind of week for me to get back on the ball and to meet that goal of what I have set for the month. Just because it's the middle of the month doesn't mean I can't accomplish said goal. So I just need to get back into the swing of things. So starting off, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to put in my work hours because that's pretty basic. I'm actually working every single day this week. So I'm going to put that in. And then over here on the sidebar, I'm going to forego what I had before of the trackers and putting in what I want to film for the week. I want to put in my videos for the week. So I have a sticker that's large enough to do that. And then I may have space for three small trackers at the bottom. It's just for me, trackers don't really, eh, it doesn't really work because I don't hold myself accountable and mark things off all the time, so. Okay, so I have my work schedule put in. Even though it is redundant Monday through Friday, still having this time blocked off works for me when it comes to scheduling out the earlier part of my day. Now I'm going to actually go to the finance section of my Franken planner here and look at what I have for the upcoming week. So let's see the 21st I have a bill due. And I'm going to be using the Bill Do stickers from the Happy Planner Household sticker book. Of course, the um, Budget Planner also has those, but I'm going to use these. And I'm going to use this light pink one. It's pretty large, but I don't have anything going on in the earlier part of the day. So I'm just going to cover up that time frame and just put in Kohl's and then <clears throat> the other one that I have oh no it's not Kohl's that's due I'm not telling the truth oh yeah yeah, yeah it is Kohl's I'm thinking the 23rd is something else the 23rd is Hulu so because that's the only bill I have due this week Everything else is, I believe, yeah, everything else is the following week. So that is fine. So I just put in that bill due sticker. And now I'm trying to figure out what else I need to put in. Oh, the football game. The Steelers are playing who next week? We are playing the 49ers. Week three, I believe. I just need to get the time. 
and I actually might be working while the game is on so bummer the notification would be sent to my phone yeah week three we have the 49ers so just gonna grab my tiny little football sticker and I'm gonna put it here in the four o'clock mark and yeah it's Steelers 49ers great all right so that is my week at a glance I'm also gonna go ahead and add in some add in a full box sticker for this day here the Saturday because I'm not really gonna be getting much of anything done in the earlier part of the day so not really worried about it just gonna do that and this sticker is from the wellness sticker book it's one of my faves at the moment so that's that and I'm gonna see if there's another one that I could put next to it on Sunday and I think I'm gonna do the radiate self love on Sunday stickers don't have to match perfectly all the time but I've used all the um, double box ones that I had so I have to make my own which is fine so just gonna put this here and put that there it's a little wonky actually but there we go problem solved and I'm just gonna put that you got this one layered over it so that is my spread in a nutshell for the upcoming week so time to put this back into my planner so for my running to-do list I'm going to add a few stickers I am going to go ahead and add in this project sheet and when I'm ready to sit down and fill that out I already have it in my planner I also have some of those in the back of my planner as well and then here is that half sheet and then I'm gonna use some of these in my little header one actually I'm not even gonna do that I'm gonna come back into the wellness sticker book because I should be able to find um, some in here to um, create a header and I think I'm just gonna use the oh there is one that says get it done I was gonna put the you got this but I'm going to put the get it done and I'm actually gonna use this one here that more peach tone so Let's just pop that there to get it done and then I will have my running to-do list of course my priorities for each day will be different and vary but especially like on the weekend portion I have this to um, reference whereas when I 
have things going on in the earlier part of the afternoon. I'm not putting a full list in this section because clearly it's not enough space. So this is good. This is where I can put my photos, all of my pictures. I can literally have it all on one sheet. I don't have to do everything on multiple. I could put it all on here. I have been keeping my content stuff separately because I have been um, saving it to transfer it to a content planner, which I am going to be sharing with you guys this week actually on the channel so stay tuned for that but it's all good it is all good so that is my spread my spread my half sheet for my to-do list my project goal for my writing project and that is it so that wraps it up for this one thank you guys so much for tuning in if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below also, be sure to check out all the links in the description box, which will include links to related videos, products featured, and of course, my blog and Instagram. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. If you guys are not a part of the Chaotic Critic family, please click that subscribe button and the notification bell. And to all of my subscribers and my new ones, thank you guys so much. And all of you that leave comments, I greatly appreciate you. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.